Simon O'Connor. Well, what an array of contradictions we've just heard there. We know under this government that uh, take-home wages is increasing. Regardless of its 25 cents, the minimum wage is going up. We protected jobs around The Hobbit and so forth. Right. You know, reacted there. But that somehow is a problem. And one of my colleagues just pointed out to me a bit earlier, this hands-on approach of the Labour government is really around your throat and in your wallet. Because what's the solution? What's the solution to more jobs? A, a tax. A tax. Let's have more taxes. Because, you know, boy, that's, you know, well, what around economic policy there? Absolutely. Abs it's a slap in the face and a kick in the guts to New Zealand. That's the Labour approach. Hands-on. On, hands on government. Mr Speaker, this bill is a good opportunity and I want to acknowledge uh, the Minister in the House uh, here uh, supporting this. This bill is really about opportunities and incentives to get young people into work. What we've heard from the other side can be best defined as utopianism, a world where everything is perfect, everyone, everyone could be paid the same amount of money for whatever they do, everything is perfect. Well, some of us live in the real world, some of us don't believe in utopianism, we believe we have to do something. And someone talked a little bit earlier that, oh my lord, you know, how dare we pay them a little bit less. The key comes down... Oh, Mr McCorber's uh, quote does come well to mind again if Labour wants to start talking about Dickens. Uh, go and look up Mr McCorber. Um, the key here is that you want the dignity of work, and a lot of people submitted that to us, the dignity of work. Andrew Little tried to quote the Pope, well, maybe he should go and uh, read Rerum Navarum sometime. At the end of the day, the dignity of work comes first and foremost. This party, the National Party, is behind the dignity of work. We want our young people into jobs, and if part of that facilitation in the real world is giving them a slightly more minimum wage to start, then, Mr Speaker, we are behind that, and I support the passage of this bill. Is this a split call? Indeed yeah, a split call. Five minutes. Sue Maroney. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I would like to say, I normally start off my speeches by saying it's a pleasure to rise and speak, but quite frankly, um, I'm getting tired of rising and speaking to these bills that have absolutely...